Greetings, listeners. I am your host and game master this evening, Zach Bear. You're about to listen to this Twisted Gear Studios production of The Legend of Zing Dong in collaboration with MacGuffin Media and the team behind Nirvana the Web Series. All episodes of Nirvana the Web Series are now live on Telus Optic TV as well as Telus's YouTube channel. Last we left our heroes, they had begun their incursion of the Volcano Temple, besting several traps. They moved deeper into the temple to see what it has in store for them. All the enemies in this room have been defeated. Take a bit of a breather. Mm. (sighs) Okay, guys, I think what we need to do is move these rocks into these divots now. So I got one over here. Someone wants to get over on the other side and pull the other one over to the E. I think it'll be fine. Who's strongest? But also, I just need to heal up. Yeah. I only have seven HP. And also me, because I only have six. Eat something. Um, I eat. Let go of your rock and eat something. Uh, can I eat and pull rock? No. You can eat then pull rock. Can I pull rock and then eat? Can I eat rock? You can try. (laughs) No, I don't want to. Well, then that's a you problem. Um, I got I got two red fish in jars. Can I eat a fish? I can eat a fish. To heal five health. All right. And Sweet. each can I fish eat? is three portions. Oh, can I can I eat all portions of one fish? I mean, we haven't you haven't cooked any. Uh, so you have to see. see Stef- Stefan prepared his earlier. There's a there's a there's a sconce. Can I can I hold it over the sc- <laughs> the sconce to cook it? Anyone have any quick healing you want to do? I'll I'll do my I'll I'll use um cure wounds if that's okay. Yep, that works. Cool. But you get uh, you get to use it uh, two more times. One d eight. On yourself. Mm. Yeah. And I would like to eat another ration of fish for five more HP. Do it up, Mikhail. Do you need any healing? I desperately need healing. I'm at like twenty five percent health. Do you have any of those fishes four. cooked? I do not have any of these fish at all. Okay. Um, so I ate one oh, fish. Can I eat a fish too? I've got a fish. I think you cooked yours, yeah, over the fire when you yep. were. Yep, so we, we get ours together. Yep. Oh, look at so you get to nice. heal another five. Uh, Yay, you want to eat a raw sure. fish? Yeah, like sushi, right? <laughs> Roll a constitution just, check. It's <laughs> just like sushi? Constitution oh, 18. <laughs> Narrated. Yeah? Yeah. In 18. total? 18. Yeah, it was total. not okay. like sushi. Uh, so. You have to devour the whole fish. So all three rations oh. are used. Okay. You get three health. Ugh. One for each wasted ration. But you don't get sick from it. Ah, oh, good. This was an alright fish. I really should have cooked it though. A regular ration doesn't provide any health, does uh, it? No, it's no. just food. Alright. Oh, this is special bonoan fish. Can someone Do you need some fish? <laughs> Can I could use some fish. And... I give I give Macau some fish. <laughs> <laughs> you take a ration of it. Mm, very good. You heal five health. <laughs> I'm still below Can half. I eat more fish? You want to eat another raw fish? Uh, oh my god. Do you? I get. I'll give him a fish. I'm gonna give him a fish. You sure? Look at my face. <laughs> yeah. You don't go into a room first again. Okay. Ever again. Okay. Here's your fish. Eve, eat your damn fish. You take you take your ration. Ash, yeah. you lose a ration. You gain two health. No I'm kidding. <laughs> you, gain, <laughs> you gain five health. Thank I you, Ashlyn. One fish. You I call this him. an ashen. Get it? Because it's from Ash. I quit. Saved I quit you. this job. <laughs> <laughs> Just gets up and leaves. Remember this. This was it. Remember this day. I only have fourteen though. You have like another fish. I need. Uh. I, no, I don't. Do I, I need another raw fish? Uh, Can we just set up a camp and no, do a long rest no. in this room, or is it something that's just not It's kind plausible? of like a weird room to do it in. Why, because everything's dead? And no, there's no, no, there's like a square. There's a big pit. Out of the pit. Yeah, there's a, there's a well, big pity boy. Rest. Who knows what's in there? I say we just move on to the next room. I'll go first. You're not going first. 
<laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. We still well, gotta we got... move the rocks from the corners to the other yeah, corners. Yeah, who's got the highest okay. strength? The idea was sound. I'm I'm gonna move the rock on my side since I'm here anyways. Okay, Mike, is, have you got high strength? Yeah. I'm assuming um, you do. The, uh, me and Matt actually are as strong as you. Yeah, yeah probably. I think you're out base bait to me. Right. Starting with Matt, roll a strength check, please. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, excuse me. Mm, that will be eight. An eight. So you kind of pull up the rock and it moves about five feet. But, but all right, Mike, all right. we got it. We're moving it. So I, I'm going to go to the right, the other corner, one. and yeah. All right, I'll give her a give her a good tug. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh. Twelve. You move yours your standard amount of, uh, or you move it at half speed. So you move fifteen okay. feet, and uh, you're halfway there. Matt, you want to roll another strength check? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. Means to find a chillin'. Oh, dang. 16. 16. You move it for your normal 15, your half distance, so you are 10 feet away from your divot. All right. Mike, right. one more check from you. 18. Ooh, 18. And, and you push it the last little bit, and Blink. it seeds into place. Yay. All right, I'm going to roll one more time. Yeah. Oh, 18, uh, 18. 18, all right, that's enough. You... I hope this was a good choice, because we're not getting these back out. That's what she said. And the wall's cave and you will die. No, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> as the God. second stone seeds into place, you feel like a minor earthquake, like some vibrations, mm. and you see some dust and dirt falling from the ceiling itself, and you see that the, the center of the of the wall that you just pushed these two stones into, a whole 10 foot section of it begins to rise up as a massive stone tablet of a door kind of lifts up to about 15 feet in height and stops. And on the other side, you see that there are three sconces on either side of this upward staircase wall. There's, there's a fair amount of luminance coming in from the room and uh, there seems to be a giant staircase on the other side of the stone slab. Cool. Um, so are the sconces lit? In this new hallway, yes. Okay. So there's a fair enough bit of light coming in to this big room now. You get a bigger picture of this room. It's pretty much like a, like a square donut where it's like there's this 15-foot pathway that goes around a giant pit as much as you would expect it. Okay. Well, I think we should go up these ladders or this, this staircase. Sorry. Yeah. You want to lead the way, Mike? You I'll know. lead the way. No. Me. No. No one. <sighs> all right. As you all gather at the foot of the stairs, you look up and you see that at the top of the stairs... There is, up until this point, a lot of the dungeons looked very, very industrial with the metal steel doors mm -hmm. and the flat slab walls. Um, while the flat slab wall still continues, there's some more ornateness to the top of the staircase. Uh, the door in question is a massive golden double door, like, like gold-plated steel, double swinging door. And on either side of the door, there seems to be like a, like a bust protruding outwards of, uh, of a feminine figure. I want everyone to roll a uh, religion check, please. Should be under intelligence. Whew. So, no one, what'd you get? Hmm. I got an unnatural 20. An unnatural, nice. Mike, what'd you get? Four. Four? Natural one. Five. <laughs> you Starting from the bottom and working our way up. Um, Stephane, you are almost certain with well, this it's got to be Tita's mother. <laughs> There's no reason why it would be anyone else. The likeness. It's just, just as annoying. You've, oh. never, you've never seen her before, but it's a safe bet that this is probably Tita's mother. Ooh. I mean, uh, I don't see it singing, but I bet if it did. Ashlyn and Mike, uh, it, it is a, a bust of a robed woman. Uh, for you, no one, it you are very well mother. aware that this is the the personified image of the goddess of fire that helped one of the six that helped create the planet that you the world and realm as you know it hmm. and this is a representation of the embodiment of fire hmm I think Stefan is right I think it's Tidus's mom <laughs> 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 no but does anyone know anything about this thing that um, they want to tell us I, I think uh, <laughs> I feel like this is uh, the uh, goddess of fire hmm. um, oh, wow. so it might be a <laughs> Might be a spicy boy behind that door, so Ooh. we better watch out. But I mean, the, the door is big and gold. I can only imagine there's only going to be riches and, I feel and like treasure this is behind a it. Super trap. Well, I'll go up to the door and I'll check. I'm no, go, you don't get to I'm go, gonna go first. I'm going to go up the stairs. <laughs> he goes first. He goes up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else going to try and race him up there? 
I want I want to go up the stairs too. There's nothing at the bottom here. Yeah. Nope. All right, so y'all go up. Follow behind. And no one pushes open both doors <laughs> oh, like dear. he owns the place, throws them open, and enters the massive cathedral of a room. All right. Uh, as you enter, the first thing you're greeted with are charred remains all oh. over the floor. <gasps> Uh, I would like you, Something no one being the first here. one in the room, uh, just roll a, uh, like a nature Perception? check. Nature. Or nature? Just okay. to see if you can figure out what the heck these are. Some kind uh, of hicko dragon. I, I have an investigation, but I don't have nature. No. What'd you get? I got a two. Hmm. No, they, it's, it's probably fire pits. <laughs> uh, now that the rest of you guys have entered the room, please roll uh, nature checks. See if you can figure out what these are. It's Tito's mom. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. A natural 20. Oh wow. Natural 20. Stephane? Um, do you add the intelligence if you don't yep. have a. Okay, so 17. Oh, I had a nice. 4 then. 6. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Ashlyn and no one. It's just, maybe they're mini fire pits. Uh, Stephane and uh, Mikhail, you're certain that these are actually hoglins. That uh, they have traversed, that the, the, a band of hoglins traversed the dungeon, made it this far, and this is why they never came back. They're not much to look at, but that greasy smell is telltale. Mm. Yep. Stephane, with the natural 20, you are. By Stephane, I mean Mikhail. By rolling <laughs> a natural 20, um, you could tell exactly that there are six standard hoglins, two big boy hoglins in the remains. And they're all scattered around with their weapons equipped that they were fighting something before ending off in this state. Kentucky Fried Hoglin. Mm. Mm, delicious. Times. Delicious with butter. Did you say eight? Six Hoglins and two big boy Hoglins? Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's right. a lot. That's, that's, that's more than us four. Well, I mean, so we they're know. Hoglins though, right? Not humans. No. And the doors. Yeah, of course. Close behind you. Yeah, it was. Uh, We're gonna die. That was typical. I'm gonna uh, crouch right. down in a sneak the, position. The room itself <laughs> is actually fairly well lit. Oh, um, lit AF. On the and it's the largest room you've been in, in to date. It's about mm -hmm. 75 feet across, mm -hmm. and about 50 feet deep. It's a large room and okay. it's probably 75 feet high as well. Like the height is is quite immense. On the opposite, on the two corners on the wall that you've just entered, similar to the very first room, you see those two bomb-like plants. Um, there job. are halfway through on either side of the room as well, right, kind of splitting center, uh, like splitting between the center and the wall, as you'll see what there, there is in the center in a second here. There seems to be large square-shaped divots and the far back of the room to pull cubes. There are two sconces stand-up ones coming out of the floor um, kind of on either side in the middle of the floor between you and what is the centerpiece of this room and there seems to be light emanating from behind the centerpiece. The centerpiece itself seems to be a massive 20 foot tall um, kind of like a full stone depiction of the same goddess you saw on the busts outside of this chamber. Um, standing in a rather ethereal pose, kind of raising up to the heavens, as it were. Almost seems to be made of gold. Hmm. But this is this is the room. Cool, so that thing's gonna come to life. Like, for real. That's, yeah, it's thought crossed my mind, too. Yeah. We just have to I, do the uh, wrong like thing, a, and we're toast. Like that one dragon I saw in that one uh, dream I had. <laughs> dream you had. Yeah, the dream I had. He well, was protecting a bunch of gold. I mean, if no one else is going to check, I'm going to check for loot on the uh, burnt corpses. No one steps forward. <laughs> and at that whole point, you feel a giant gust of wind and all the sponsors go up. The room oh goes boy. pitch black. However, if any of you I walked in with a light source, notably your light sources do not disappear. Oh, I still have my lantern. the light sources in the room itself yeah, completely go up. You got a torch. Yeah, because I've got a torch, I guess. All right, I need everyone to roll initiative, please. Oh, wait, did I have to put it away when I used my longbow? Yeah. Uh, you could have put it on the floor. Okay, okay. Uh, I assume you, you dropped it. Next time I should just ask, but I assumed you dropped it so that you can use your... Well, I scooped it back up. Yeah. That's what we're saying. <laughs> it's something simple that I'm not going to be that picky about. Cool. All right, uh, anyone roll... Uh, hang on a sec. All right, anyone roll a natural 20? Mm. No. Roll higher than 20? Uh, 22. 22, fantastic. 15 to 20? 
15. Uh, sorry, what what kind was this? Initiative. 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 She has an 18. I have an 18, yeah. What'd you roll again, Mike? 15. <coughs> Matt, what'd you get? I got a 7. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's like... It's initiative. You can blow initiative. Yeah, that's true. But I shouldn't because uh, I, then I can't use assassinate. Mm-hmm. All right. That's what you get As the light first. sources disappear, you were only illuminated by about 10 feet with each of your current light sources. Okie um, It's not that you hear loud, heavy footsteps as if the statue came to life, as you would assume, but you do hear the air moving. And you hear fire crackling, even though the fire disappeared. And there are two faint, glowing red spots that are moving at about twenty feet in height. With that, Stephanie, you go first. Uh, <laughs> what are we gonna do here? Um, him glowy boys. I'm thinking. Um, what do I have? What do I have? What do I have? What do I have? Uh, sorry, you're next to me, right? Because us three haven't moved really from the doorway. Yeah, well, okay. we're all, uh, like all of us are pretty close Is anyway. Chilling? Okay. I, I assume that no one got stopped in his tracks, judging by his lantern, has is basically just swinging in place. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're all close enough that you can see each other. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're kind of huddled together in one massive pool of light. I've crouched. Hmm. There's not much that I can really like help out with on this um, specifically I'm going to uh, try and communicate oh, <laughs> with, the, with, the, with, the, with the red glowy lights that seem to be floating about 25 feet away I'm going to say hello <laughs> oh lordy <laughs> <laughs> hello there uh, it responds oh you hear a bellowing deep uh Voice coming from what looks like the two the two orbs in the air as they move around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> this world is mine. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Can we can we define world, <laughs> the whole thing, or I mean, is what 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 do you consider your world? Ashley, your turn. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm stressing. Okay. All right. Um. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm gonna cast cure wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Your third and final spell for the day. Okay. No, no. Okay. No, I'm not going to it for now. Do I have one? You just asking me to have more fish? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh my god. I'm going to. I'm going to aim for the glowy lights with my longbow. We're going to do it. You're going to just shoot an arrow at it? I'm going to shoot. All right. Roll a disadvantage. Shooting in the dark. Shoot it. We're, I mean, we're going to make it aggro. Is it an already aggro? You, what you should no one's do been attacked yet. is use your torch to light the other sconces. So then we can see what's in the room. I think they already are lit. No, no, no they've all got of their out. lights sconces oh. in the room went out. That's why we oh, can't I see. Oh, I thought anything. that we just the light stopped the wind, dissipating. But why don't yeah, you just no, blow wind. it out again? Because it's all windy still. But maybe it won't. No, no it's not still windy. No, you felt just, a breeze. It was just one gusty boy. It's, it was oh. probably whatever oh, it is landing. Oh, sorry. So I misunderstood. He's not gusting anymore. Whatever this thing is. No, no. There was okay. a, there was a brief gust of wind. All the sconces in the room went out except for your own light source. I put my longbow back after, <laughs> after receiving advice from my friend over here, hey. and I'm gonna run to one of the sconces and try and light it. All right. As you approach the sconce, do you remember where it was? You place your sconce into it, and you notice that the fire goes to make contact with the, the the flammable liquid inside and it kind of flows floats around it doesn't seem to want to make contact oh. your your sconce doesn't seem to want to light uh, well cool there you go uh, now, we, now we know that <laughs> okay so when we got in here I'm just gonna use the rest of my turn to talk since <laughs> I didn't move that far uh, so when we got in here we noticed that there were the little bomby boys the divity things and the rock things, right? Yeah. So I get the feeling that maybe a couple of us should attack this thing and try and keep it distracted while the others move the rocks into the divots, question mark? Let's and do with it. that, we're moving on to <laughs> the, the spectral form. 
Oh. Uh, no! Takes a move around. Uh, you watch as it's, it kind of walks backwards, and uh, it's going to... You hear it muttering some kind of ancient cantation, no. oh, and boy. suddenly you feel heat beginning to emanate in a certain spot of the map. You're all together. Oh, no. Uh, Ashlyn stepped away. So, for Mikhail, no one, and Stefan, and each of you all rolled dexterity saving throws. Oh. Natural 20. Nice. Nice. Natural 20. <laughs> uh, uh, five for me. 23. Y'all take one point of damage. Oh. <laughs> As you jump out of the way, because you can't half one. Um, and you have to take at least one point of damage. But uh, a flaming orb about 10 feet wide kind of spawns in the middle of you and kind of stays there as you all spawn. Jumped away and separated in your own different paths. Oh, so it's it's aggro. It's lighting the area of you? It lights the area a little bit, yeah. Cool. But That's uh, handy. not as lit, lit as it was when you first entered. Yeah. Okay. Not lit AF. All right, sure. Mike. How far away were the bomb plant? Oh, I can't even see them. I'm, Last right. you recall, they were about 10 feet away from you. Well, let's let's go harvest the bomb plant. There right, you go. You see a bomb plant. Roll a strength check to pull it out. 10. 10. That is enough. You, <laughs> you feel it. it you feel for a second like you can't pull it out, and as you're about to give up, you, nah, forget, and you pull, and it does snap, and there you go. Uh, where are you going to toss it? At the, the lights. The oh, eyes. Oh, at the lights? Yeah. All right, roll a dexterity check. Ten. Ten? That's <laughs> Just <laughs> all right. regular all the way. <laughs> Neutral the whole time. I always sucked at bowling. <laughs> Scatter ball. You're lucky. I rolled what, basically some kind of a luck, a scatter roll. So as you throw it, you throw it right towards the, the figure. You don't know, just due to the, the darkness, if it's went too far, didn't get far enough, your perspective is kind of skewed. But as it lands and it explodes, the it landed close enough to the back sconce behind the statue that the sconce lights. <gasps> With That's that, it's Matt's turn. The bomb flowers work. Which, okay. is, which is why the he boom asked weed. us if you were throwing it at the sconce first. <laughs> well, he said um, at the light, yeah. and I was like, oh, the, sky, no, the light's, oh. Oh, oh nice. no, whoopsie. Um, <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to go to the other uh, bomb plant. Okay. And I'm going to give that a pull. Strength check. Uh, 9 <laughs> And it seems to barely pull up, but it's not... Ugh. It's not being pulled. Also, away. I'm right next to that sconce, so maybe don't. <laughs> well, that that seems really like Steve's a, turn. a you problem. <laughs> hmm. Does it though? Is 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 did 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 you just set off the 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 boom weed? Like did, nope. did you no, did you no, light no, the fuse on it? Okay. No. Thank goodness. No, that's okay. good. Just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make sure. He um, didn't even pull it out of the floor. <clears throat> But didn't didn't trip it. I failed to pick up some bomb weed. I like that. <laughs> How are you at uh, basketball? <laughs> some bomb ass weed. I'm gonna try and shoot me a hand bow, a hand crossbow bolt towards those two red glowy eyes. All right, at disadvantage because it's the dark. So twenty or yeah, so twenty. Wow, Did you roll the same thing twice? No, I rolled a higher. It's, oh. Yeah, I rolled a 23. There wasn't a natural 20. Oh, I see, yeah. I see, I see. Okay, so you fire. It seems to go towards the eyes. Roll damage, please. And that is the d6. Oh, shit. Uh, five plus, what was it, dexterity? Eight. Yeah, eight. You watch as the, the bolt flies. It, it seems to go right towards the center between the eyes, and you hear it fly through and then strike the wall behind it. Ah, crap salad. Oh, boy. This thing's incorporeal or something. Oh. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe the boom flowers are gonna work. No, no, I think it has something to do with the. Ashen's turn. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna run over to the bomb flower that uh, this guy was trying to pull out of the. Ground. Strength check. That's me. I'm gonna strength check this mother. Let's do it. Twelve plus two. Click. You pull it out of the floor and goes. Pew. I'm gonna check it at the sconce I was standing by. All right, roll a dexterity check. Ooh, uh, this one again. Yeah. yeah. 18 All right. plus 3. You kind of, it's right there, so you kind of just roll it and it rolls. 
it explodes, and sure enough, the, the explosion encompasses the sconce, and the second sconce lights. Yay! The two thirds of the room is now quite quite lit, lit. and uh, there is a third sconce that is not lit. Um, the being gets to go now. Oh my god! And it moves. Hmm, he won't move away. I'd say that because Ashlyn and no one are together. You watch as the ball of fire moves towards you two. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh he... <laughs> Yep. So, it is now in your guys' way. Please roll dexterity saving throws. Uh, uh, 12. You both take... Five points of fire damage. Oh, I am doing a, a major hurt here, guys. Eight. Okay. Hate. Alright. Mike's turn. I'm gonna light that third sconce, so I guess I gotta do a strength check. Yep. Go grab the, the, the plant. Oh, six. It's not ripe enough yet. <laughs> you gotta yeah, wait. It's like an avocado. You gotta check Matt. the pot. Um all right. You kind of are standing there taking this fire. So you're still right in front of the plant, technically. Um, so can I take the plant out now? Is it, is it grown check. back? Oh, okay. This, these ones seem to be growing a little bit faster. Oh, okay. Ones. Good. Good. That makes it easy. Well. Does it? Could be worse. <laughs> Plus no. your strength. Sound <clears throat> five. He did it. He did it. Hey, I'm still going. Um, oh, can I? Uh, am I still in the fire? Yeah, you can move away from okay, it. Okay, I was gonna say, can I use my cunning it. action to move away? You no, just take your movement. Your movement. Okay, yeah. but can I also use my cunning action to hide from the fire? No. <laughs> okay. All right, so you're we can't not at see advantage. Stop Steve. Steve. Things that you don't know how to do. Um, I am going to uh, take a run over to where Mikhail is and try and use that bomb flower to get strength the strength check. Strength, strength. That is a nine. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't pull up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ashley. Okay, so uh, I'm standing next to mm. no one. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna rub, get all rub on up on. Can I get all them rub on? Yeah. For them pure wounds, uh, which is me rolling a d eight. Eight. That's, eight. that's that's the amount of hit points I got no, right now. No, that's that's not it. Where is it? Here. Two. Heal two health points. Oh, wait. Yes. Okay. Two. Perfect. Well, I got ten now. Thank you. All right. It gets to go now. It was like moral Uh, support. I take it that the two of you moved Ashlyn and and no one. You moved your full distance away from the orb? As far as we could, yep. All right. So the orb (laughs) begins to move towards you, and it doesn't seem to make it quite to you. Mm. It stops about ten feet short of you. Okay, so it can move like 20 feet is what I'm getting. Yeah, that's what I'm getting to. Mike. Um, I would like to, uh, to <laughs> remove that bomb that I was so... <laughs> Strength check with advantage. <laughs> oh. Because it's been tugged quite a bit. <laughs> with advantage, roll it again. <laughs> that worked. I'm glad you have advantage. Eleven. That, you pull it out of the floor. <laughs> that could have been so much worse. Oh, my God. That could have been so that much worse. Like- Freaking won the first round. You and Steve the, would have been toast. I saw the blood drain down my face, like for real. Oh my God, so hey, he still gotta advantage. throw it. He still gotta throw it. So yeah. let's Dexterity. see. Dexterity. Thirteen. All right. With that, he, he rolls it to the last sconce. It blows. The third sconce lights. The room reaches its maximum luminous intensity, and you see that there is a twenty-foot tall purple cloud-like figure in the shape of a human. And as the lights grow, it freezes and it kneels down and it's now stuck in a, in a kneeled pose. <gasps> Mike just did that. Matt, it's your turn. Um, I'm going to... Is, uh, do I have an advantage on it? Because it's on the screen? What do you want to do? Um, I want to attack it. No. You can attack it, but you don't get advantage. <laughs> but it's on its knees. Um, but it's not prone, right? I thought he said prone. No, it's, it's okay. froze. All right, well, I will go up and attack it anyways yeah. with my uh, rapier. Yeah. Uh, that's nine. 
Nine? Yeah. You feel that it, it, it physically feels like it's hitting something, but it's also bouncing off of it in some somewhere like it's some kind of an armor. It's the bombs. We gotta use the bombs. We gotta Let's, bomb it. So still uh, get away from I, it. I would say more along the lines of you just rolled really low. Oh. I'm gonna go with that. Oh, okay. I'm trying to find a way to explain how it's not going to hit it while All it's right. in a static position. That makes sense. Alright. Uh Steve. But also get away from it, because uh, can I yeah, can I take a step back from it? I still have my cunning action. Yeah, you can use your cunning All action. All right! I did yeah, it! Absolutely. All right, Steve, what are you going to do? <laughs> uh, I'm going to refund this with this regrown uh, boom weed, and I'm going to try and bomb this. this when biatch. the lights return, the bombs grow slower. Oh, boy. So it's half the size that you normally is now. That is back. unfortunate. Oh, uh, well, we're, we're here chilling, uh, and I got ranged <laughs> weapons, so I'm going to try and use a uh, hand crossbow. Well, I'll do 20. That is 18. Uh, so 23. Roll damage. Uh, 9. 9 total. Nine wow. Alright, you watch as your, your arrow goes in. It doesn't seem to disappear. Or it doesn't seem to go out through the other side. And it seems to let up some kind of a... <laughs> as it's hit with whatever you've shot oh, at it. Nice. Oh, Ashley, your turn. Uh, okay, I'm going to uh, farm my longbow at it. Ugh. Is it eight plus Seven. the attack bonus? Yeah. Yep. So that's what, 15? 15? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is enough. Really Yay! Uh, 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 why do I keep losing my D8 digger? Four! All right. Plus, that's oh, plus, plus your six. Dex is. Seven. Seven! Seven? All right. Mm-hmm. So he watches your arrow also sinks into whatever form this is and <laughs> as it takes that hit as well. Nice. Um, We're doing something to it. With that, uh, it stands back up and it punches into the ground and all the sconces go out again. <gasps> My repeat. Rinse and repeat. Strength check. I'm guessing. Is there is it a harvestable one yet? Uh, as soon as the light goes out, you watch as, this, as they grow at a fast rate again. All right. Let's take Darkness this. Darkness helps them grow. <laughs> Restart the process. Just like the Turks has uh, 14. 14? That's enough. You pull it up. Dexterity. Oh! Not 20. 20. Nothing but net. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah. You throw it to the one in the back, and he watches it lands right in the sconce, and it explodes in the sconce lights, and you've got a nice little right. red sconce way to go. Alright. <laughs> It's all I can think of, I'm sorry. <laughs> Landed good, in the sconce, Matt. That's good. Uh, all right, I'm going to pull up this net. other one. Uh, yep. and, check. And do that. Here we go. Do that thing. All right. Do that thing. 15. That's enough. Freak. Pull it up. Finally. No, right? Oh, man, and 20. Nat 20? Uh, no. no. Okay, so you throw it at the... Um, the, the closest sconce is really up close. So you go, I'm going to th- step... You step forward and you play some scones. You step back. <laughs> 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 Boom. Yeah. and lights some scones. Smooth. All right, uh, Steve. Okay, I uh, am going to uh, take a look at the bomb flower below me. Uh, I assume it's grown to a harvestable size again. Yeah. If it's growing fast. Okay. I'm going to do the same. Do I'm going to try and get that third sconce. You can do it, Steve. we gotta, we got to stop this thing in its tracks. And we got ourselves, what is that? Mm-hmm. Uh, strength plus two. Oh, strength, yeah, okay, so it's uh, 11. That's up. <laughs> Pull it up. There it is, and we're gonna throw it. We got a natural one. Hey! Alright, so you pull it up, oh, and you're like, alright, sweet! And as you go to throw it, you throw, and it rolls off of your fingers, and oh. it lands by your feet, and it explodes. I'm having such vivid deja vu right now. <laughs> <laughs> It deals five points. Oh, uh, fire oh, geez, God. Geez, guys. Uh, it explodes. I'm geez, guys. standing right beside him. So I oh, you take five points as well, yeah. Damn. Jeez. Uh, 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 that didn't work so Rick. well. Ash, your turn. I'm going to rip the bomb out of the ground, and then rip we're the going to throw it, and we're going to see what happens. See then. Plus two. No, I didn't do it. No, nope, it's stuck on the ground. Cool. All right, really cool. it's its turn. Oh, it no. uh, moves the ball of fire towards Mike and Steve, but it doesn't quite reach you. But it's pretty close, Mike. Let's try and get this bomb. 
Is there a harvestable? Yeah, oh, okay. Actually, no. With the explosion from the last turn, it's growing back, but it's not back yet. This plant is bust this turn. I'm gonna move uh, as far away from the the uh, fireball, fireball as I can get. Thirty yeah. feet. Yeah. Cool. So you go as yeah. far. Uh, do you want to go towards the back of the room or towards run along the same wall you've been sticking to? Can you make it to one of those rock things? Can you I? should run towards the thing because when I throw the bomb, then you can be up there to attack it. Is the, how far away from the fireball is the eyes? How far from you are the eyes? Right, sure. Um, well, no, I'm more concerned about the fireball's distance. Yeah. yeah. No, the fireball's like five feet away from you. Yeah, no, could it close the distance? Like, if I ran to the entity, would the fireball be able to get me? No, no. You, All right. to, to get towards the entity, you can run your full distance to be where you think it could be. Cool. We'll do. We'll go in that general direction. All right. You run towards the entity. Uh, this side of the room is actually pretty well lit because two of the sconces are lit. Um, and as you get there, yeah, you're 30 feet away from or 25 feet away from that uh, ball of fire. Doesn't seem to be. There seems like a thin, hazy outline of the figure, as you recall, but nothing. We'll just do the defensive well, thing. I'm gonna. I'm gonna rip out this here bomb, and and do it a toss here. All right. I got. Uh, 16. There you pull it out. All right, let's do dexterity. Yeah, 14. 14? Yeah. All right, so you throw it. It kind of rolls past the sconce. <gasps> explodes. <gasps> and the, the light's a little bit there. And, uh, oh, I forgot. I have to be an ass. I apologize. Oh. On the, the being's turn, when he moved the, the, the fire, um, the two sconces went out as well. So... What? what? Yeah, so on, on his last turn, I forgot to say that the, sconce, the sconces, because not all three were lit, he burst the other two out. So oh now one sconce is lit. Oh my god. So, you two have to get all two of them. Yep. So that Mikhail can... Can, uh... uh see sir. Yeah, well, I'm going to do what we've been doing. I'm just going to keep on keeping on. Uh, I'm going to grab that bomb thingy and try and throw it at uh, the nearest sconce. Natural one on the pole. Oh no. Oh no. I don't, I don't have. I can't take much more damage. <laughs> no. Fortunately, I only rolled a one. You take one fire damage oh. as the bomb explodes in your face. <laughs> oh my god. Hack, hack, hack. Okie day. Ash, your turn. Yeah. I'm gonna try pull on this bomb plant. Do it. 18! 1920! You pluck it! It's out! Pluck it! Stick it! You throw your, uh, uh, Eight! Alright, you go to throw it to get the sconce in the back. You shot put it. It goes past the sconce. It lands on one of the rocks with the grips on it and explodes. Doesn't seem to do any damage to the rock with the grips on it, but it misses the sconce. Damn. Maybe Sorry, we should, gang. Maybe we should think about moving on those rocks. All right, it's the being's turn, and uh, the orb is not. It moves closer to uh, to to Ashley over in the one that's the plant that hasn't been exploding on its own, and the one that's actually been doing causing a problem. Moves towards you, and the last sconce that you had lit goes out. Okay. So now you got three blackened sconces. Oh my I'm God. worried that if we mm. move those rocks and open the door, that it'll get out. Because what if that it opens the out. doors? Because it said the world is mine, right? I'm wondering if we get those rocks in place, if it's going to actually just keep the, the la- sconces, the sconces lit. That's lit. what I'm wondering. Oh, that might be. But I don't think that should be everyone's focus. Um, I think that some people should. We should have three people. A way to figure out how to light, light them all at the same time. Mike's turn. Yeah. Whereabouts in the room am I? I know I'm beside the entity. You're beside, right beside the entity, but you are uh, you're kind of splitting st- the, the the difference between the one of the gravity rocks and the hole in the floor. What's the distance like between the rocky? The, oh, I guess fifteen feet. Um, so I wouldn't be able to make it regardless. Eh, well, well about, what was your question? If I could make it to the rock and pull the rock to the hole, if I. But if I max distance, I can move that rock as 15 feet at full movement. Then. Uh, if you use your action, oh no, you have to use your action to pull. Uh, yeah, you could, if you oh, roll well. Let's do that then. Strength check? Yeah. I guess. Eight. We're not doing it. All right, so you get there, <laughs> and you pull it five feet, and you got ten feet left of not being able to get there. Matt, I'm going to keep tossing some of these bomb, bomby boys. Get boomy with it. Yes, I get it. It's uh, 18. 18. Cool. Dexterity. 
dexterity. Now, if you go to throw it, you whip it past the the scunts. It blows up, missing all the scunts. Okay, well, this didn't blow up on me. <laughs> Steve. Oh, okay. We should take our turns to move the rocks since none of the scunts is over. I'll try and light the scunts on my turn. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna come after us. Because uh, we can't light two in the so time. You're closest, Stephane. You're closest to Mike's stone. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna join Mikhail. And right. try and move it. The, close the distance. Now you roll. You you can reach him now. Uh, you roll a strength check at advantage because you and him are both pulling. Cool. Okay. So nine or uh, twelve. Twelve. That is enough. You with Mikhail are able to pull it far enough into the divot. It drops. It sinks in and uh, it's in its spot. Nothing else seems to happen. Ashley, your turn. Okay. I'm, go. I'm gonna sprint for the rock and pull on it. That's the one you're closest to. Yep. yep. You can do that. 10. 10. That's enough to move it most of the way there. Not That's quite not there, way. but it's it's well on its way. Awesome. Um, none of the sconces are lit, so you don't see any difference happening there. However, no one being next to the fire, uh, that orb moves towards you. It is five feet away from you. Mike's turn. Let's get ahead over here, guys. Move on to the next closest rock. Okay. Uh, if you use your action to use an athletics to get there, you can get there this turn, but... Uh, That's fine. We've just moved. Yeah. All right, so you can get there this turn, but you won't be able to help pull at this point. But you just watch as Mikhail is now up with you and is ready to help you if you don't make it this time. Yeah. Matt! All right, I'm going to throw one more one more of these bombs, and then I'm going to use my cutting action to dash away. Or just use your move to run away. No. No, it has to be the cutting action so I can use it. Okay. Yeah. Same. Okay. Uh, okay, I got 15. Plucked. Dexterity. Yeah! 19. All right. You light the back sconce. It's the hardest one to get. Figured with that. Okay. <sighs> Blows up. One of three sconces is lit. Steve. Oh, and I move away from the thing. Oh, that's good yeah. to know. All right, cool. <laughs> and you run away from the orb. Um, I... Just as far away from the other rock as uh, Mikhail was. Um, but can I make it to one of the bomb flowers? Yeah, you sure? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try Both and of them do that. seem to be growing back. Yeah, I'm gonna try and do that, and uh, I'm going to try and throw it at the entity. Roll it. Roll strength. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Had so much luck. Uh, so, 14. That's enough to pull it. You pluck. You're throwing it at the entity and, and it's uh, At the entity. 21. 21. Cool. So you throw it at the entity. It goes into where it kind of exists, goes past, and explodes on the other side. That was early on that one, guys. Sorry. <laughs> that, was, that was an early shot. Damn it. All right. Ash, your turn. Okay. I'm going to yank on this rock. Strength. Doesn't she roll an advantage? Because no, Mike, Mike hasn't actually started helping Mike hasn't grabbed got it there. yet. Nine. Nine? You yeah, pull an extra five feet, you're a couple of feet away, but not oh quite God. in the crevice <laughs> yet. Please. All right. Being goes. <laughs> It blows out the one sconce you guys have lit. Ugh. And the orb. Uh, Matt is still the closest. It goes towards you again. <laughs> uh, you moved your full 30 feet. Yeah. All right, so it's 10 feet away from you. It's uh, not over here. It's gonna hot. At this point... No, it's coming straight. He's no, sweating. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, right. Heck. Yep, nope. All right, sweet. Mike, your turn. I'm going to uh, place that rock. Strength with advantage. <laughs> Ooh. 16, 5. So 16. <laughs> Locked yeah. the place. Um, it doesn't seem to do anything, but it's in, uh, it's in is, place. Uh, how many stones were there to place? It seemed like there was two. So oh. Both seemed to be sunk in, and it seeds. And All right, I'll uh, uh, visibly change move it. towards uh, one of the plants. Cool. So you can move up the plant, and that's... Unless you want to burn an action to pull the plant nope, out. Nope, that's my turn. All right. My mess <laughs> turn. not throw it. Um, okay, I want to try and... Pull one of the plants out. Strength check. Uh, ten. It gives you some grief, but you do pull it from the vine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. All right. I got. It. I'm gonna just toss it, you guys, at the at the scones. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen. <laughs> scones slip. Steve. I am gonna do bomb flower to scones once more. Okay, right, roll it, roll it. Let's make this happen with a uh, so uh, twenty. Yep, oh. that's enough to pull it out. <clears throat> Come on. 
And to hit, uh, how about an 18? 18, yes. that'll get the one in the back. So two sconces are lit. Right. Ashley, now we got it. Uh, am I close enough to get to a bonfire? Yes, okay. absolutely yes. I'm going to yank out one of them bonflowers. I'm going to try. I'm going to do it. Here we go. Here uh, we go. No, I only got a eight. So I didn't do it. So you see, see, all right, I got this guy. But it might make it easier for the next person. It is the entity's turn again. It uses its action to, again, stomp down to put out the flames. And as it hits the ground, the flames don't go up. Yes! <gasps> yes! No shit, eh? All right. Um, you suck! <laughs> However, oh, you did run for one of the yeah. things, so you are further away. Um, he's going to move the orb back towards the flower that you're at, Ash, and it's five feet away from him. Okay. He's kind of going back and forth and not quite making it to anybody. That's cool. just like dancing with this Mike. fireball right yeah. now. Am I at the same flower as these yep. two? Uh, already then. Um, so well. basically, you, you, Mike, and Ash are at the same flower, and Stefane and no one are pretty much the same flower as well. So you should be able to pull one out. Yeah, you can pull yeah. it out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I pull, throw, and move? Yeah. Is that, okay. In that action, or in that order. Oh no, we're not pulling nothing. Eight. Mm-hmm. Ain't not Eight. nothing. No, it doesn't get pulled out. <laughs> All right. Are you gonna you're gonna we're, no, we're we're moving. We're moving. All right. So you're gonna run out. Yeah. All right. So you run away. Right. Ashley. Sorry, no match. Me. Um, all right. Well, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'll I'll have to light all the sconces myself. Yep. I'll uh, I'll just do that. Jesus. Um. Hey. That's that's a sixteen plus three. Roll dexterity. So. Like Dexterity, yeah, that's a 15. All right, that's enough. Again, the only sconce is the one that's kind of right in front of you. So you can step forward, pop it there, step back. <laughs> it explodes. The third sconce lights and it stuns, seems to stun the shadowy entity as it, it freezes up and it sits there again. Uh, Steve. I am getting this bomb flower out of here and I'm throwing it at the entity now that the lights are lit. Uh, so you're at the same fl- uh, plant as Matt. So oh, as I you am. go yeah, to grab right. it, it's slowly growing back. Ah, always with the bad timing on this one. Um, I am going to eat a ration of fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it'll be your full full turn to kind of put your backpack down, reach yep. it, grab it, eat it, and so yeah, he's just it. munching. <laughs> it's worth it. Uh, Ash, I'm going to fire my longbow at it. Use it. You don't need. Oh no, you already used all your magic through there. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, no, I haven't. Have I used yeah, all my magic? Have. Yeah, yeah, I've used all three. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I... You healed three times. Yeah. Healed thrice. Could be. Nah, we're just going to do this. Let's give it up. 18. That's enough to hit. Four plus three. Mm -hmm. Attack bonus. Yeah. Yeah. All right, sweet. So you strike it, uh, the arrow sinks into the shadowy form, and it seems to not like it very much. Uh, It is its turn. That's enough. You watch as it it shrinks in size, still stay, stays kind of like like a dark purple cloud, but then it uh, the fiery orb disappears, and from its hand protrudes like a flaming sword instead, and oh it boy, begins wow. moving around the room. Um, Okie dokie. You're each at different flowers, so it's going to move towards the flower that's closest to it, which is no one's and Stefan's. It approaches you guys, but it's not quite within range to swing at you. Uh, Mike, your first. Then you gotta attack it. It's on the opposite yeah. side of the room for you. Yeah. So I could, wouldn't be able to close the distance and attack? Not uh, without... Not with, not with a melee weapon, no. Throw something. Throw yeah, can I pick a... a, a is there a handy bomb At this bar? point, your bomb has has grown back. Yeah. All right, let's give it a go. Oh. We'll give her a go. Right between the eyes. Oh. So, 18. Yeah, that pulls block. it. Oh, oh, man. Uh, oh. What was that? A one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and you drop it. Um, it blows. Oh, so it was you and Ashton together? Oh, Unfortunately. No. Four points of fire damage each. It's funny, because most of the damage of this dungeon has been dealt to self-inflicted. Yeah. Yay! Sounds no. about right. That story oh, checks right no. now. All right, Matt's turn. I'm gonna attack it with my rapier. All right, you close the distance. Because uh, it's too close to use a bomb, is it, or no? I mean, nothing's too close to use a bomb, depending on how <laughs> ballsy you are. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my rapier. <laughs> it's like ten feet from you, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna use my rapier. Don't forget to step back from it when you're done, though, because I want to do a bomb. Yeah, boy. I'm gonna do that. Uh. 
That'll be 14. Uh, you go and it deflects the, the, the strike with the sword. Oh, fuck. Okay, I want to move away from it as well. You use your bonus action to disengage. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to do that. So what that means is that normally if you were to move in, attack, and then move away, he gets free attack yeah. on you. By doing that, he doesn't. All right. <laughs> Look, the use for yeah, your bonus action. Yeah, now I want to so do you that. Disengage, you move out of the way, it's Steve's turn. Let's throw a bomb at it. Rolling <laughs> <laughs> a strike. That's a, okay, the 12. 12, that's 12 enough to pull it up. the strength. And then it is 10. Oh, 10. God, that is enough one. to roll it towards it. It goes, deals four points of fire damage. The fire seems to affect it pretty well. And he screams in pain and oh. uh, moves on to Ashley's turn. Let's scream. keep doing that <laughs> as, uh, as we can. All right. Am I near a bomb? It hasn't grown back. It hasn't grown back. Okay. Uh, I'm going to fire my arrow at it again. No, I'm not. I'm going to eat a fish. I'm going to sit down. All right. So you're sitting there smoldering there, Steve, uh, a mic, and you watch as Ashlyn pulls out a fish and just starts going to town in the corner. It's It's fine. I am on fire right now. now. All right. With that, the being moves up towards uh, Stephane, who is in the corner. Yeah, with the bombs. <laughs> oh, boy. And it, uh, By my trusty uh, weapon source, yeah. right in the corner. Oh, and it swings its sword at you. Uh, that's not going to hit you. And it misses. It strikes the, the wall as you duck underneath it. And it misses completely. Uh, Mike, your turn. Woo. Hot potato. Uh, I guess I will uh, draw your old crossbow and take a shot at her. All right, so you're firing into combat with a friend. This will be a disadvantage. Oh, well, that's a horrible thing. <laughs> Just saying. I really don't. I have no option. I have four hit points, and is the bomb back? No. No. Can you take some of my fish? Do you have another ration left? Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll have some. Yeah. It's, it seems so like these a guys great are idea. coming to the corner. <laughs> <laughs> a sword almost took off Stefan's head, and they're like over there seeing fish. Just, Yum, yeah. yum, yum, yum. Yeah, You'll find Just chill and have, have fish. You can have a piece of this fish I'm eating. I appreciate Matt. that. Thank you. Your okay. turn. Okay. Uh, You're fishing it up. Is there a bomb near me? No. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'll just use my rapier against it again. All right. So you move up to it. Now you and and uh, now because you are flanking this creature and your friend's on the other side, you get advantage. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sneak, sneak attack. Sorry, sneak attack. I get a sneak attack. An, an extra 1d6 damage on it's attack. It's assassination. Yeah. Me and Mike wave our fish. <laughs> I haven't surprised it then, is what you're saying. No. Right? Okay. <clears throat> well, sneak attack, gain 1d6 damage on attack when you have advantage uh, or the enemy is flanked. Yeah, so you know, yeah, so, or, so it's not both. Yeah, so and a uh, rapier is a finesse weapon, yes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. which is a rapier. Yeah. Yeah, so. What, what? Um, so let's hope I hit. And I do not. What'd you get? <laughs> I got uh, ten. And you go and you swing him. You know, well, you miss completely. Dang. <laughs> Steve, your turn. Yeah. Now you also get the the flank effect. Oh, and I want to move away. Position. Wait, I thought you were at advantage. No, no, I I, uh, I if, gain one d six damage if you if hit. I hit. If he hits. Wait, so you're gonna move away? So if you disengage, I lose Sorry. advantage. Oh really? No. Please. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I thought you said he was at advantage. No, I said it was wrong. No, no, no. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, I missed that part. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, so if I move away, you lose advantage. He doesn't get sneak attack because you are flanking it right now. If you move away, you're okay. no longer flanking it. All right, I just stand there, subject my face. Pray to the fire goddess. Yeah, the fire goddess that I saw at the doors. I am going to uh, attack with the dagger, melee. Roll it. We got a 19. That's enough to hit. Roll damage. Oh, and that's a d4. So we got a four plus strength. strength yeah. uh, six. Six. All Ooh. right, so you stab up into it. And, <laughs> and it seems to be very angry. And its its eyes flicker a bit, but it's still standing there. Oh, my God. And I'm like, do you bleed? <laughs> yeah. You will. Speaking of which, Ashley. Did you do <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, enough. Right. I'm going to fire at this. Buckle Uh-oh. with my longbow. Wait, no, you guys are in combat. Hang on. Yeah, you just get disadvantage, that's all. And I can't use Hail of Thorns because I already used all my spells, eh? Yep, unless it's a cantrip, like... Um... Okay, let's fire at it with the longbow. We'll go disadvantage. All right. 
<laughs> Steve's butt, face is like, oh god, damn it. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> What'd no. you roll? Seven. Seven. What was your roll on the die? My roll on the die was four for the okay. lower one. So seven, seven in total? Yeah. Okay. But no, it was with your attack bonus, isn't it? For longbow? Oh, yeah. So it's ten. Ten. Still so not sorry. enough, but. So. You guys watch as, uh, as you guys are there fighting. You've stabbed this thing. You're looking it in the eyes to feign like you're just, yeah! And an arrow flies between you and it, strikes the wall, and you look over, and Ashen's just sitting there. <laughs> I still got fish sauce on my face. <laughs> fish sauce? That's disgusting. She had time to put the sauce on? Yeah. We're dying over here. With that, it uh, since you're right up in its grill, Stefan, it is yeah. going to uh, take its blade and it's going to stab up into you. Uh, I believe a 21 hits you. Yeah, I rolled really high. Okay. Here we go, that's my wrong time. You take six points of fire damage. So glad I ate that fish. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> You're still alive? Ooh. I'm alive. Eight good points left right now. I like gasp when I see him just getting hit. Oh, 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 oh. Just this flaming sword strikes over its <laughs> defane. It leaves a flaming mark, but uh, oh. yeah, it only. That's not coming out of the it. leather. <laughs> I wait. I don't know. Yep. Alright, sweet. Mike, it's your turn. Like bits of fish fly Can I your close boat. an attack? You can cl- so you haven't moved closer to it at all since the fight started. It's in the opposite corner, so you can get close, but you won't be able to hit it this turn. Yeah, alright, we'll close. Is your bomb? Close right. it as soon as Yeah, what if he throws a bomb? Yeah, but you guys are engaged. Yeah, we're, we'll be fine. No, wait, no, <laughs> so we got eight hit points. Quill, I can take it! <laughs> you can't take it. <laughs> alright, so you close the distance a little yeah. bit. Alright, so you're about 20 feet away from it. Uh, moving on to Matt. So, Stefan is still right beside it, eh? Yeah, if you hit it, you'll get an extra d6 of damage. Okay, let's do that. Let's try and do that. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, uh, that'll be oh, 22. I think I did that on my turn. One. Oh, yeah, 21, sorry. Oh, roll an extra d6 then. Retroactively, I apologize. Uh, two. Two? Plus okay. Strength That's... was four. No, but we already have the strength attack. Yeah, so just the first one? yeah so just understood. Two. Oh, That's two. good to know. So, yeah, that hits. Roll your damage plus d6 plus your strength. Okay, uh. Yeah, the two rogues just going ham on this thing. <laughs> We're like the ranger. You guys are playing to your strengths right now. Yeah, right. The ranger and the champion are just like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I have a D8 regularly. Oh, plus, okay. Yeah, so I get six plus three, so nine. Nine damage total? Yeah. All right, you drive your spear rapier right through the chest of it. It arcs up and it stumbles and it kind of looks back angrily at you, but it doesn't look. Very good. Mm. Um, Steve, your turn. Oh, and I, got, I, I move away from it. Good. Yeah, I move away from Disengage? it. Disengage? Disengage. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. You no longer have sneak attack, yeah. Stephane, but uh, you yeah, I don't think he's going to sneak attack. Um, I am going to pull out the bomb and try and uh, roll it towards it as I get out of the corner. So you're you're like, he's got you in the corner. So it would literally just be a matter of pulling it and yeah. just putting it down. That's what I want to do. All right. Well, and then get out of there. Oh, my God. So, oh, uh, sorry. Before you read that out to me, I'm going to say because you're engaging in an action while he's in threat of you, he will get an attack of opportunity on you. Okay. That's the, so a free attack on you. Do you want to do that or do you want to just stab? Uh. It's like it's like so if you're in a sword fight and then you go and do something else. Yeah. They're gonna get a free hit on you. That's exactly yeah. what's going on. Here. You'll take damage no matter what. Like your health is way too low. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Okay. So I don't want to do that. I want to attack. Okay. So just straight up attack it. Yeah. Okay. Is that a reroll? Um, with the dagger. Yep, so okay. just roll that. Okay, so we got a natural 20. Yes. Oh. Holy cow, okay. Oh, heck. So, heck whatever heck. damage you, whatever you roll for damage, mm-hmm. you will times that by two and then add your strength. And Whoa. it is a D4. So if you had add sneak attack, the sneak attack would also be doubled because oh, it's a die yeah. But we don't have that anymore. That's just, just, just as a fun trick to know for the future. It's good to know. So we got a four, Ooh. plus strength seven. Times two. No, you times the die roll. So, so four oh, times so two is eight. eight. Ten. Ten damage? Understood. And with that, Matt, as you run away, you turn back and Stefan goes and swipes across with his dagger. It yeah. swipes through the corpor- incorporeal neck, but the shadow doesn't reattach, and the head falls off, and the shadowy figure just dissipates on the floor. Oh, as there's like a, shit. Boom. As it goes. Nothing <laughs> nothing to loot, but I would loot it if there was. Check for loot. Check for loot. <laughs> All right. 
So with that, as that happens, you watch the two spectral eyes drop to the floor and like insects almost, they hover across the floor and they run up towards the statue, crawl up the statue and embed themselves into the, into the uh, uh, actually into the neck area of the statue Weird. as a large or as a very bright light shines from the necklace and this red pendant begins to kind of glow down towards the base of the statue. I run towards the pendant. Okay. To grab it. All right. You grab it, and it uh, seems to kind of have a natural pull out towards the door. Oh, okay. Guys, this, this necklace is pulling me towards the door. Go to it. Okay, I'm going to go to the door. All right. She goes to the door. It keeps pulling you as if it's pulling further out. Okay. Um, does the door open? Yeah, once, once you've got the necklace and the, the, this whole thing seems to have been ended, the door does open up for you. Yeah. Are you okay. going to put the necklace on, or like... Yeah, I'll put it on. All right, so you go and you put it on, and it actually lifts up off of your chest, and it's tugging this way. Oh, okay. Uh, guys, I think this necklace is trying to tell us to go a place. Let's go! Okay, let's follow the necklace. Oh, wait, um, Also, need to eat some more Also, fish. actually, before <laughs> right, we do that, no, I'm going to... Uh, I'm, I'm thinking we should find a place to camp. Yeah, can, can we, like, camp in this big room and set up a fire here? It's up to you guys. Do you want to camp inside this room? I just want to put, like, a fire so I can eat a fish. That's all so I want to do. only the one doorway the one we came in yeah oh yeah and that's the doorway it's pulling us towards that's correct yeah back out the way you came oh okay so there was is there nothing else in this room before we leave do you want to do some investigations yeah I'll do one. yeah, yeah. Yes, i have please. actually i have addition to investigations so, so I will as use. do i so everyone can roll an investigation check with one adage uh matt you're the only one that has to roll a disadvantage because this necklace keeps pulling the hard the longer you don't follow it the harder it begins to pull <clears> okay <throat> Mm, okay. Sorry, I shouldn't have told you to put it on. <laughs> okay, well, I, I don't see how I can get worse than that. Would you roll, Matt? Uh, two. You're the natural one? No, a uh, two. Plus, I have four in investigation okay, and so six two in intelligence. So, investigation is the uh, amalgamation of all those numbers. So, oh, okay. it should just be the plus four. So, you got six. What'd you get, uh, Michael? Ten. Ten? Or Mikhail, I should say. Stephane? 15. 15, Ashlyn? I got 11, but I have plus one intelligence. Does that count? Yeah, so 12. 12, yay! <laughs> okay, so you use your intelligence in case you don't have a, the actual skill. You yeah. use my, uh, Mine is a train skill. Is that, is that Which means that that's why the number is the way it is. Oh. <laughs> what number is there is the number you use. There's no extra modifiers. It's just the number that's there. <laughs> it's amazing how that works. It's almost like the number there is so that... You can use it. It's almost like that's how the game works. But it's almost like more than zero is a good thing. But what if I had... No. Not All right, so uh, oh the God. only one who rolled 15 was Stephane. Yep. All right, so as everyone's kind of looking around, um, you do find that there is some leftover, like, currency in the charred remains of some of the hoglins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you I got stopped because it, it went dark. Yeah, you went to check, I and then it. a giant shadowy specter came out. Damn it! Yeah. All right. So with that, you get a grand total of about twenty-five gold. Oh, nice. God. <laughs> I'm dying over here. Nice. But you do find that with some investigation of the 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 bomb plants, so although they're fully back, um, with a good enough nature roll, you or someone in your team may be able to take some explosive powder from it. Nature, nature, nature. I don't have an I don't modifier. have nature, do you? Anyone? Nope. I've got a plus two just for intelligence. Yeah, I've only got a plus one. Might be you. Should we, should we... Want to give it a go? I can give it a go. All right. Yep, I'd like to. Nature check, sir. Oh, you should have used that. <laughs> <laughs> I should have. Um, yeah, I got an 11. 11? Uh... As you start spending some time, and it's going to take some time, and as you begin, uh, no one, roll a strength check. Oh, boy. Uh, 11. The necklace pulls from your hand and flies down the stairs and out the hole. Oh, my God. Guys, oh, my God. The necklace is, is really giving me, it's really a pain in my neck. Well, I don't know so, if we can camp right now. I think we got to follow it. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Hang on, let me just get these explosives. Uh, it's going to take you some time. You have to stay here for a bit. Yeah. It wasn't that very. It's an either or. Can, I don't have any fish to go, do I? No. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna chase after the necklace. Of course he is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna abandon this. Yeah, I'm gonna go with him. Miguel. Yeah. 
All right, so you all are kind of running through this temple. Uh, as you go into the dark room, uh, there are the, the sconces have now illuminated brighter and they seem to actually encompass the whole room. You run through, the traps don't seem to spring on your way back out through the hallway in the main corridor. As you kind of run on through, the front door is open and some of the tiles begin to shake, but as you run on past, they kind of stop shaking. Nice. Um, you go up and as you head towards the Hoglim camp at the front of the temple itself, you've seen that uh, they're all sleeping and they're still there. So, uh, need you all the real stealth checks, please. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get to the top of the stairs where the Hogland camp is, we pick up all our stuff. What stuff? We left our cloaks and stuff stuff there because we decided it was too hot and heavy. Oh, okay. Get all your shit. All right, perfect. Everybody (laughs) roll uh, stealth checks. Good idea. No one, what'd you get? I got 21. Mikhail. Five. (laughs) Ashley. What is stealth? It's under, uh, it's under dexterity. Oh, do I add my dexterity? Oh. So seven. Yes. Seven. Mm-hmm. I'm 18. 18. And I'm 22. 22. Can we go first? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys will go first. But as you guys begin, you kind of sneak past the camp and start going down the stairs. Mikhail kind of just runs right through the camp. Oh, my God. And as you guys are going down the stairs, you kind of look up and you see Mikhail standing at the top of the stairs. What? And you hear... <laughs> oh my god get to stand up uh everybody roll athletics checks athletics <laughs> eh? Mickey, get? is there athletics in this 14 oh yeah there is oh i actually 14? have a lot of athletics uh oh no not athletics. 22 22 national what did you get four did you roll a natural one no. Okay. I would say well, that your natural 20, Stephane, is enough to... You see as uh, Ashton trips down the stairs, I'd say it's enough that you can <laughs> pick her up. That's so smooth. Just ha, scoop her up. <laughs> this is and, way better than the first time we met. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And you run on towards... Say, You're getting better at this. <laughs> oh all, all flirty, dreamly. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm really happy. Oh my god. I'm super heavy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so you guys, you pick her up, and you head on down the stairs, you run on towards the the, the threshold where the passage that the Hoglins uh, seem to not want to uh, go past. Mm. You're in the city, you see a fiery red glow coming from inside the decrepit temple. Or the church. chapel! That must be where the necklace <laughs> went. Let's oh go! This is why the Hoglins were so scared of this place. Oh my God. I know it. I know it. We gotta go. Sorry. Right. We, gotta go. we gotta go chase it. And as you guys go to enter the chapel, you hear and see the stampeding of the hoglins. They come on down the stairs, they go around the town, some of them look at you guys, they go, and they just run away. They're just running past us. They again can't enter the town, it says, it seems. Oh. Flip, flip. Um, All right, well, let's let's get into the chapel and close the door. Yeah. One one chappy boy. Yeah. Hold the door. Oh, the door. (laughs) Oh, God. All right, uh, you enter the door, you close the door, and you turn to see that the necklace has uh, passed that strange fiery barrier that's surrounding your deceased friend. And something seems to be happening with some spectral form behind your friend, the necklace, and the barrier. Thank you for listening to this Twisted Gear Studios production in collaboration with McGuffin Media. Our next episode of Zing Dong will air Friday, February 15th. Tuesday, February 5th is our next episode of Spacers, our Starfinder actual playcast. And Tuesday, February 12th is the next episode of The Call, our Call of Cthulhu actual playcast GM'd by Derek Snow. The game system used today was the D&D 5th edition by Wizards of the Coast. Music in this episode was provided by Matthew Chung, composer for Nirvana the Web Series. Sound effects and ambient tracks licensed through Triune Films, Video Copilot, and Sirenscape. For up-to-date content, please subscribe to the Twisted Gear Studios and McGuffin Media YouTube channels. And all Twisted Gears podcasts are available on YouTube, Google Play, Apple Music, and Spotify. Please like and follow us on Facebook, as well as Twitter and Instagram at The Twisted Gear. Your players this evening were Mike Farrow, Ashley Lawrenson, Steve Reeve, and Matt Salem. Elizabeth Wells was your audio operator, and I was your host and GM, Zach Barrett. Have a good night, everyone, and we'll see you next time.